Day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick and fun comparison between Kubuntu on the left and Fedora on the right. So without further ado, let's get into this one here. So starting off, Kubuntu 20.10 on the left. This is actually based off uh, Ubuntu, uh, as the name would suggest. Even the number version in would suggest that as well, which is quite correct to say. So uh, 21.10 there. Whereas uh, Fedora, so Fedora 35. Now Fedora, um, probably start on this side of things. Fedora is it's kind of like a cutting edge version of Linux there. Uh, you can probably see that by the terminal, but I'll get into that in just a hot second. So it is actually uh, the upstream based on which uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux will actually be based on. So, you know, used for the enterprise environment. Call yourself a tester, if you will, using this one. Just seeing the latest and greatest features that Fedora has to offer. But um, this is, in fact, a bit of an apples to oranges video because they aren't really the same. They're running on different front ends there. But hey, they're both Linuxes and they're both very popular distributions in their own right. So, uh, let's see. So, both uh, point releases here. You get an update every six months to download or upgrade if you've already got it installed. Let's have a look at the, the KDE desktop environment as opposed to the, the GNOME desktop environment that Fedora 35 instead chooses to users. So, it's um, I like them both. They are quite different the way that they work. We've got a bit of a Windows-esque look and feel to Kubuntu. Whereas, um, well, Fedora is doing its own thing with the GNOME desktop environment. Uh, it, it does really seem to champion this one. It doesn't like to bring out other versions with other other desktop environments. So hey, really does enjoy the latest and greatest that this GNOME has to offer. GNOME 41, in fact. Great, fantastic. Let's have a look at, say, oh, I don't know, the, the file managers uh, there. So we've got Dolphin with, uh, with Kubuntu. Great to see. Hey, as long as it right clicks and opens terminal, that's all I care about. Got a more of a simplified looking. Uh, this is known as GNOME files or just files for for Fedora. So these things do what they do. They're file managers. You can drag and drop whatever the case may be. As long as you've got that open in terminal, right click. Hey, I'm pretty happy there. Uh, Move it on. Uh, I did briefly mention it before, but uh, we now to need to have a discussion, you and me, about the kernel. Okay. So kernel for uh, Kubuntu. 5.13, very great. Not quite the latest and greatest. In fact, what we are dealing with is Fedora, almost probably the latest and greatest. I think there is a kernel 15 and 16 out. They might be just betas or release candidates, but you're not going to find anything generally, generally more bleeding edge than what Fedora has to have or offer in the in the kernel sense. So, uh, take for example, you're dealing with brand new hardware, an AMD CPU, which <laughs> I had to really deal with and get a later kernel to get that thing working. Uh, latest and greatest at the time, not something I'll get into now, but um, GPUs, wireless uh, cards, all sorts of things. Probably want to stick with um, with something newer and better, but hey, between the two, one point difference, wouldn't worry about it too much. So, last but not least will be the, uh, let's have a look at the RAM on boot up. Now, this is where it always gets a bit interesting to me. Some of the crew in the comments do mention this for Fedora. So we'll start on the right. Uh, it's uh, 1.10 gigabytes of RAM on boot up. I just booted this up four minutes ago. Come on, Fedora. So a little bit heavyweight. It's never really been my choice as a, a daily operating system. Um, you know, it is what it is. It's using the GNOME desktop environment. I don't like it. I don't like I mean, I actually use GNOME on Ubuntu, but it just it's tweaked. It looks a bit different, you know. But hey. So Kubuntu. Traditionally a very heavyweight desktop environment, running at a mega 700 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So we're, we're dealing with quite a difference here, obviously, as you can see. Bear that in mind when you are looking at uh, certain hardware to purchase, be it a, a notebook, a laptop, or a desktop PC. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.